we're talking about more animals actually. We this are. is really Tuesday <laughs> animals now because we've been to Bevington High Farm. You've went there yes. to have a little chat with them. Just to find out more about what goes on and why a school has a farm. Yes. Like why does a school have a farm? Why not? Check this out. Now we are actually on a farm but we're in the middle of a school and we're here with Mr Fear and I was going to say your first name then but I don't want the kids to find out unless you know it already. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, and you run the, the, the farm stuff and, and some of the courses here um, at Bevington High Sports College. I mean just firstly where did the idea come for a farm in the middle of school? <laughs> well, I started out as a science teacher yeah. and uh, I'm used to being outside all the time anyway so, so I took the first opportunity to start teaching outside and I had a conversation with the head teacher at the time and, and he thought the idea it was great and we just went from there. So what happens here on the farm? Because this is it's fully working, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got a fair number of sheep and a fair number of pigs, as well as goats and chickens and things like that. So the students feed the animals in the, in the day, uh, in the morning before they come to school. They, they clean everything out, feed them at the end of the day. And, and at times like this when we're lambing, the students are, are very much involved with that process as well. I mean, why is it important that the students get involved in something like this? Because there's a... Um, specific animal uh, welfare course that you run as well as them. That's right, we, we offer level two animal care and level three animal management. And the, the whole the whole reason why we brought a farm into school is, is kind of twofold really. It was it's to give them those like skills related to the animal care industry, but also to, to look at like farm to fork education, so educating the students where their food comes from. Brilliant. So what's what's the future of, of, of what you guys do here with the farm and you know where can it lead the students onto? Okay, well we're currently working at Claremont Farm uh, at Clatterbridge. Uh, just the other side of Bebbington. Uh, we, raise, we raise pigs there as well, we've got a breeding unit there and we also graze a lot of our sheep there. So that all these sheep that are behind me here, they'll actually graze on the summer and, and grow on and fatten there. We sell directly to Four Star Hotel, so to the Lever Hume Hotel and the Hillbark Hotel locally here, here on Wirral. And have the local community been supportive as well? Very much so, yeah. So, you know, I, I'm constantly like getting comments about how important it is that we develop vocational education. These kind of courses, you know, give students like ours who come from really urban areas like Birkenhead, Rock Ferry, New Ferry, those kind of areas, they give them the opportunity to access like a rural kind of uh, employment yeah. which they wouldn't otherwise get and where we are here in Bebbington we're perfectly placed right on the edge of the, the urbanisation. What are some of the things that the students that are involved are already going on to do? Okay, so some of our level three students, they're going on to veterinary nurse and they've, they've already got places in, in college and university after this. And some of our students are actually going into farming careers as well, which is, which is really important for us. You know, I, I personally believe I didn't come from a farming background. I'm just a scouse kid from, from, from Crosby. And, and I personally believe that the, the farming industry really does need these kids who have no pre-prejudice of what farming actually is because they can come in with fresh ideas. And, and that's what we really try and do here. Holly, who is in sixth form, and, and, and you're actually working here day to day, aren't you? I mean, yeah. what's what's this allowed just to go on to do? It's so amazing. Like, I've when I first started the farm, I wanted to be a teacher, and now I want to be a veterinary nurse. <laughs> and if any of your mates or students or whoever in the school are watching this, and you know they they they've never been here or they they might not you know be sure about what it is, what would you say to encourage them to come down and get involved? Oh, I definitely do it, especially around this time because we've got the lambs being born and everything. And it's as soon as you see that lamb being born, it's just the best thing in the world to see. So Jess is also a student here, and Jess, you're going into farming. Was this something that you've always wanted to do, or is it something that ever since you've been involved in the school and been involved with the farm that you've? It's uh, ever since I've been involved with the farm because I wanted to be a veterinary nurse when I was younger, and ever since I came here, Mr. Fear and showed me like all the the sheep and the lambs and what's involved to actually be a farmer and show the community like the, the meat side of it as well, which really shocked me because yeah. as you see, not many people know where the meat comes from. And how would you say this has helped you to go on into your future career? It's given me a lot of um, encouragement to, to go out there and find my own place because I was, I was really nervous when I was younger and this has given me a lot of help in that. And, yeah. Jess, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>